My name's Taj Burrow. Burrow's B U double R O W. I was riding um, conventional PU surfboards. I used to ride for Greg Weber, who um, pumped me out some amazing boards and never had any complaints except for probably breaking them. You know, I used to break one a week. If I didn't break it, I'd buckle it across the fins or. Those things were so light and they were great, but they were just pretty much disposable. Nev Hyman approached me on the Gold Coast a couple of years back now, and he just, uh, yeah, he showed me this new technology that he was working on. And, and I've always kind of been a bit skeptical on changing, you know, materials and stuff like that. I've always been pretty happy with what I've had, but it was really inviting to hear about these boards that were, you know, pretty much indestructible, you know. And, He'd throw one on the ground and jump up and down on it and show off and how strong they were. And you know the boards have come a long way, and I'm absolutely loving them. I just, yeah, I just, um, you know, took a bit of time to work with Nev and and, um, and try and improve them, and they just improve rapidly. And and then sure enough, um, it's what I started riding regularly. And then even further down the track, you know, I'm now officially, you know, exclusively riding, you know, five wide surfboards and I love them. And my standard surfboard is just um, 5'11 at the moment, 5'11, 18 and an eighth, 2 and an eighth pretty much, roughly that. And um, yeah, 5'11 is kind of spot on, it's my perfect size and, you know, I ride it from just 1 to 6 feet, kind of. It only takes you a couple waves to know if the board's going to be a keeper or not, I'd say. I haven't broken many flywires at all, they're almost impossible to break and I did break um, one of my favourites that I won at, on, at Bells Beach, and that was a bummer. I took it to uh, Tahiti and I broke it there, so it's kind of understandable. People can design boards suited for Bells Bowl, and then you can also design one that's more suited to J Bay. And then Trestles is, is different again because you know the waves move at a little bit slower speed. And for me, I, I kind of ride the same board in all, in all places, really. One thing it, it feel, immediately it feels good to me is if it's balanced really nice. And as well as the volume distribution, it's kind of like it looks nice. Like it doesn't stay thick for too long. It kind of just tapers perfectly, you know, both ways. You kind of look at it, and it, that's one thing I always really notice. I like a good, a good bit of rail there, and then it just goes really nice and thin, you know, towards the nose and tail. But um, yeah, just always give it a little shake, and you can kind of almost tell that it's going to work by just giving it a little shake under your arm. <laughs> and this is a keeper. <laughs>